Are you clear who you're going to invest more time in this year? Are the top performers obvious within your team or department? Hi, I'm Peter Nickel, Data Science CIO. Today, we're going to get a better understanding of how to evaluate your team very quickly. You might have heard about the nine box talent review model, or more commonly, the nine blocker. This model was created by McKenzie in the 1970s to help GE focus and optimize 150 business units. They've in their model, they centered on industry attractiveness and competitive strength as their two dimensions. In our model, we're going to use job potential and job behaviors as our major dimensions. So why is this useful? First, the model is very simple to be able to evaluate members of your team, whether they're high potential or they need some additional help. Second, it's a consistent way to quickly go through and assess how people are doing and if you should be dedicating more time and investing in those in individuals. So how does it work? On the X axis, you have job potential. And on the Y axis, you have job behaviors. So in the lower left quadrant, you have low potential and poor performance. In the upper right quadrant, you have high potential and excellent performance. And of course, the quadrants in between have a myriad of different combinations of those two. So how does this really work? The way you approach this is first, you need to categorize those individuals on your team and place them into a box based on your per perspective. Next, you need to sort of align them or consider where they really should be. And start to think about, okay, are they, should we be investing in them? Is it just a one-off behavior challenge they had? Or what was the real issue that brought them either into low performance or why they're consistently viewed as a high performer? And lastly, what you can do is you can use this model and start to evaluate how you invest your training dollars. And below in the full article, I'll provide some images of how this model, the nine blocker, correlates to training and reinvestment dollars. So as you're thinking about this year of how you're going to invest and who's your top performers, one quick way you can do to evaluate where you spend your most time is to leverage a nine blocker to help improve your time allocations and make sure you're spending some time with those high performers. A lot of us get dragged into the weeds and ultimately spending a lot of time with individuals that unfortunately need a lot of help or are not performing. Those high performers really need to be coached and guided as well. If you want to increase and decrease attrition and increase your retention, you need to have a plan to increase training and provide additional opportunities to not only people that need to be brought up to average, but people who you're trying to get up to that excellent level. Hi, I'm Peter Nickel, Data Science CIO. Have a great week.